I felt like I needed to go to an Englishman to really understand how to make fish and chips. I think it's time you start asking all the American chefs to do your hot dog. Um, however, we will do fish and chips today and I will show you how to do a good one. <laughs> Chef Brennan Collins, Birch here in uh, Los Angeles. Let's start out by making like really good chips here. Yeah. How do you begin? What do you got here? So Is this these, a russet? These are Kenny Bakes actually. Kenny I, Bakes. Prefer, I prefer to use Kenny Bakes. And then, you know, obviously chips are cut thick. They're not french fries, they're chips. So I tend to go for like three, three and a half inches with a kind of half inch square. We're gonna go into our fryer. I like to use sunflower seed oil. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice and flavorsome. They take about, I would say five minutes, you know, okay. three to four to five minutes. But basically, you know, all you wanna do, depending on the size that you cut the potato, mm -hmm. you just wanna make sure they're soft. People always think, oh yeah, the fish is gonna take a long time to cook. The potato takes just as long to cook to get nice and crispy. We're gonna put them into a bowl, cover the bowl with plastic wrap, and we're just gonna allow them to steam through. All right, so fries up to temperature. We use cod. Why cod and not like halibut or something else? I think it's more flavorful. It's got nice fat content in it. If you can see that kind of like glistening shine. Mm -hmm. We've got our seasoned flour. So basically just flour and salt. You put that on first so the batter sticks to the fish. So then we put it in the batter. And this batter is basically beer, yeast, flour, and a little turmeric just for the color. And then into our fat. We want to let it go in nice and slowly because we don't want it to stick to the bottom. We want the chips to be nice and crispy at the same time as the fish is perfectly cooked. So we want to get these in. How do you check for doneness? Basically what we're looking for is nice golden chips with some crackle to it, you know, some nice crispness to it. Mm -hmm. And then the, a nice golden fish. The fish, as you can see at this point already, mm -hmm. we get a nice golden color on it coming from the turmeric. There's our beautiful fish, nice and crispy. Get some nice sea salt on it. You want to get the salt on there while it's still pretty hot, right? Yeah, to help it so adhere. It steaks. There's our chips. Same again. A little bit of salt. Toss that. So in our bowl, we've got tartar sauce. We've got our lemon, which is not always imperative, but I like to put lemon mm -hmm. on my fish and chips. Just get a little acid to cut through yeah. the fat there. Mm -hmm. We serve it with malt vinegar. The vinegar is really for the chips. Okay. And that's it. That's our fish and chips. And for me, always tartar sauce on the fish. Always. Oh, it smells so good. You can really smell the malt vinegar. Look at this steam coming out of that. I can already feel the tartar sauce dripping down my chin, which is uh, what it's all about. You can taste a little bit of the turmeric in there. Mm -hmm. and I, I love this tartar sauce. So creamy and good. The cornichons and the pickles inside the tartar sauce help bring everything together also. It's just a good, honest plate of food. What could be better? Thank you, Chef. My pleasure. Thank you. I'm going to just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> brown brown and brown. And brown. Yeah, yeah. That's great. it. It smells amazing. It, it's great. So now we have our carrots. Yep. Got them all drained off so we don't have all that fat. And we're going to plate the dish. Okay.